Are you ready for a rusical? Complete with real live singing. Ooh, baby, this week the Druck Girls are performing in a tribute to UK pop divas. The singing, the dancing, the top of the pops, or the pops of the tops. Rusical. And these queens really put on a show, even if some of them were born after Jerry left the Spice Girls. And on the runway, it's Night of a Thousand Dianas. Start your vocal warm-ups. It's time to pod, 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 pod. Let's go. M. Oh. M. Mom. Race Chaser. Hello. 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 And welcome back to Race Chaser or Quran. Oh, a podcast dedicated to the discussion, dissection, and dissemination of every single episode of RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag, Drag Race. Race, starting from the very beginning. This is the beginning. <laughs> My name's Alaska. What's yours? I'm Willem. I'm never going to get this accent right. Well,. You know what? They go through this on this episode. I was like, this is the most race chaser episode I've ever heard because they are English people trying to do an Australian accent, which is how we sound when we're trying to do an English or an Australian accent. Tivantra. So we are covering Druck Six, in case you didn't know. The UK girls are are doing the thing. And we've got full video episodes behind the paywall on mom plus gold we got shorter previews of the episodes right here on mom podcast youtube channel too so if you're watching us hi hello why not did you enjoy the snatch game last week try something new cherry <laughs> pie would you like to buy some cherry pie well my time is valuable so i need to give them the recap after donning some <laughs> reading glasses and insulting their sisters last week the uk queens shared their celebrity impressions in the snatch game there were some major slays alongside some fierce tumbles but overall good show on the runway the queens served up their own invented doctor who characters featuring witches aliens monsters and oh my kieran thrax and lavoie both won double badge challenge and release in chanel o'connor landed in the bottom chanel went home on the day when she was dressed bulky and bald Womp womp. Not bulky and bald. <laughs> well, you it's were saying chocolate. she had those big shoulder <laughs> pads on. <laughs> I mean, you're right, but like, for me to say it is one thing, but for you to write it? I'm trying to write in your voice. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you just ripped that out of your journal. <laughs> <laughs> Dear diary, Jesus I feel Christ. bulky and bald. Dear Which brings diary. us... <laughs> <laughs> top of the Pops, the Rusical, episode seven. Top of the Tops. They had to, they had oh, to okay. switch it up. They switched it up. You switched it up. Oh, bo- uh, bald, uh, bald and bulky. Uh, <laughs> bulky bald. Take off, take off your bulky hat, you baldy. <laughs> uh, the mirror message from Chanel reads, In the beginning, I was born on a dirt farm in my motherland of Scotland and only straw to keep me warm. The point of the story is, I love you all to Austrian back. See you soon. Big love, Chanel O'Connor. I think I might have a new favorite Scottish queen other than Morgan McMichaels, and it may just be Chanel O'Connor. Why are you mad, though? The verbose Why are you mad, beauty. though? Why, Why are you mad, mad though? though? Why are you mad, though? <laughs> um, no, a girl, I was a fan of hers since episode one. I still am. I have a feeling we have not seen the last of Ms. O'Connor. Oh, yes. Um, Kyron and Lavoie share a badge win now, and they're going on about it. Chara is very happy she was in the top, but she's still hungry for that win because she's been very, very close to it. Like Marmalade. Maybe she should wear primary colors, and then maybe Ugh. that will unlock something. You know what I mean? Shade. You know, if, if, if you show us instead of telling us, that would be a good thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we give her such a hard time. RuPaul comes into the workroom on this good day, and it is time for a rusical, the pop of the tops, a one-night spectacular celebrating iconic British pop divers, and the queens will be singing live. Okay. This is a rusical. 
you know what? There's something in the water over there in the UK, and they can they can do this in a way that American girls can't. Um, I, I do don't they know. teach singing in school over there or something? <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know why they don't do this in America. I think it's um. I think it's like selling all the girls short because like if you have to do it, like you discover new talent sometimes or, you know. All of these girls sounded great. Yeah. Uh, and it's not Bianca great. Christina Bianco does not need the work that bad. What? Christina Bianco does not need the work that bad. <laughs> Is she the one who does all the different voices? She does the dolly. She does for the... the for the rusicals. Yeah, she does a lot of them. She does the Mary Poppins. She did the Ben de la Cremes, all the all sure. of those. Um, I I like it singing live, and I do this too. means there's going to be a lot of content. There's no stupid mini challenge on this episode, uh, and Lavoie and Kyron get to hand out the rolls because they won the challenge last week. Yes. So I mean, this kind of just worked out. Everybody kind of was like. I want this role, so I'm going to do it. Except for Jerry Hallowell. Yeah. That was a Which, moment where Chara and Octavia had to have, like, a little audition off. And Yes. Um, Octavia was on 300%. <laughs> Chara was marking. She was on 300 milligrams. Girl. She is a f***ing little volcano, this girl. She really is. And Kyron was like, well... They were both horrible, so this makes it very difficult. Yes. <laughs> and Lil is giving Power interview. Hungry. Power hungry cunts. Honey. Lil what is the doing casting directors. A spot on Jerry Hallowell impression, which for me, what she what should is, have been her. It it could have worked, I think, but I also don't think that she wanted Lil wants to challenge herself. Oh, and there was a lot of dancing involved with the Jerry Hallowell role. So, yeah, probably best that she didn't take on that one. And I don't know who Scylla Black is, but I, other than the surprise, surprise lady, like that's her, right? She was giving Reba teas, honey. She <clears throat> was giving Reba with a top lip, honey. Marmalade yes. definitely just wanted to do Elton John because she had that outfit. You know that she brought that with her. With the ring around, with the feathers and the... Did the glasses. these girls? How did that? I was wondering about that outfit because, yeah, you know she made that. I'm so... guessing the girls were told bring a look that's an iconic British diva, and it, they thought it was probably a runway and not a, a challenge because usually when they give you something, you automatically think oh runway, and then you get there and you're like oh, shit. like when they told us to bring like. Um, lingerie or nightwear all the girls on my season thought it was going to be like victoria's secret so girls brought huge wings and things it was in reality <laughs> it was a bathroom sitting... scene no it was it was the bathroom and then us sitting around a table having breakfast yeah. for golden girls and they cut it so like you always think that you know but you have no idea did you think kyron brought george michael from home i i feel like some of these were provided but some of them definitely were brought from homes it seems like Riga Morris, though. Like, if <laughs> if they were told a diva ahead of time, then why would the girls be fighting over Jerry Hallowell? Let me I ask. feel like some of it must be provided. Certain things, like the George Michael outfit seemed pretty provided, to, yeah. you know, to be fair. But the Elton John outfit was, like, bespoke as f Hey, girl, were the divas assigned before the runway or before you went to film, question mark? Because I feel like some girls brought their own costumes. Like, Marmalades, obviously, is from home. But then, like, the George Michael that Octavia did was like, mm, maybe that was provided. Scylla Black sings Surprise, Surprise. Could you imagine writing a song and, like... <laughs> 50 years later, it becomes like a viral sensation hit. <laughs> Can you imagine? No. It's Kinda so nuts. fierce. It, it makes me think about also like uh, Princess Superstar with uh, the song Perfect, which 
I knew that song when I was in college and it was like such a fierce song and so and amazing. This was like pre Lady Gaga world and it was this, you know, fierce cunty pop song. And then last year it's in Saltburn and becomes like the number one song of the year. And like she's getting a resurgence in her career. I just, I love that kind of thing. Sophie Ellis Baxter, I just love that kind of thing. I love that. Um, love that kind of uh, stuff. Stuff. Do you have any hits that you think will be um, uh, re- 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 revered in 50 years? Well, my music is very timeless. So, yeah. I mean, I can see. I can see that. I could hear it. I, yeah. Well, I... I Okay, I how I does, hear I hear with my eyes first. How know? does a British girl not know who Jerry is? Octavia's like she's not really the biggest Spice Girl fan. I mean, These granted, young Octavia kids sometimes, honey. She was probably born in two thousand. That's oh, that's music for old people. Oh, I don't <sighs> listen to oldies, darling. I'm sorry. I know, but like, there's like certain things like you, if you hear "Look at Me" by G- "Look at Me." Like her three <laughs> notes in that song. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. I mean, Octavia. Did she cover know it's that Raining Man? That was, yeah, but it was down a few. Oh, <laughs> oh she's transposing. Yes. Uh, Chara has to do the Aussie accent and she's very nervous, but um, there's potential there, we think. Well, you know what? They they jump into choreography. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of it's very advanced. Some of it's a little bit easier. Lil is, I mean, the the edit is telling us that she's not a dancer. I'll just say that. I mean, she told us she wasn't a dancer though, too. To be fair, she the did. edit is affirming it. Um, but some of the oh, girls I'm sorry, are doing. I, 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 I'm mixing up the right and the left. I mean. That that does make sense because if someone go, goes like this, right arm, right, left arm, and you're looking at them, your body wants to mirror it, but that would technically be wrong. So they should be turned around and doing it this way. The Back young way. man has an assistant who is doing Fine. The, the right way. Okay, so look at the assistant. <laughs> Well, also, when Beyonce does to the left, to the left on stage, she points to the right, so it goes with the crowd. Smart. Yeah, so like... I think it's, I think she's going to have a career. Well, let's Beyonce. take a break on that one. Yeah, a couple of Grammy I noms. She's, I think she's going to make it. Um, now, this, what? Some, of the, some of the girls were doing choreo, though, during the vocal part. I mean, Kyron was just like, Girl. oh, I have, to, I have to feel it, I have to perform it, I have to embody it to get the vocal... Girl. She wanted to show what she got. She said, I think I should go over here for this part. Sing over here. Ooh. She wanted to Dance do that one look that she got. <laughs> Why don't we go ahead and take a break and we'll be right back. Yes. As we transition into fall and our schedules get busier, it's easy to forget about taking care of yourselves. During this busy season, one simple but effective thing you can do for yourself is to start taking Nutrafol. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement brand trusted by over 1 million people. See thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding in just three to six months with Nutrafol. Nutrafol is great because as drag queens and performers, our hair goes through a lot and we have wigs and pins and tape and foundation and glue Girl, and yes. all things that aren't helpful to hair growth. So it's Always nice to have Nutrafol in your corner to give you an extra oomph that you need to maintain healthy hair as you put your hair through things that aren't healthy, you know? And thinning hair is tea. It's different for men and women, so a one-size-fits-all approach to hair growth doesn't necessarily cut it. And that's why Nutrafol has multiple formulas for men and women 
and they're tailored to different life stages like postpartum or menopause and even lifestyle factors such if you lead a plant-based lifestyle. So you can get what you need when you need it. Nutrafol is physician formulated with drug-free ingredients that support healthy hair growth from within by targeting key root causes of thinning hair through whole body health. With Nutrafol, building a hair growth routine is simple. You just purchase online with no prescription or doctor visits required. And then there's free shipping and automated deliveries that will ensure you'll never miss a day. Get results you can run your fingers through. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter the promo code DRAG. DRAG. Find out why over 4,500 healthcare professionals and stylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code DRAG. Drag. That's Nutrafol.com, promo code DRAG. Drag. Tight for excitement. Fill up on Sauce Boss Barbecue, the newest exclusive slot game from DraftKings Casino. Play for mouth-watering wins and check out one-of-a-kind features like the collection multiplier and progress saving. New players play just five bucks to score 50 instantly in casino credits. Download the app and sign up with the code Chaser. Chaser. Then get a taste of Sauce Boss Barbecue exclusively on DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Mm, They're talking to you, girl. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. 21 plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility restrictions apply. One offer per new casino customer. Casino credits are non-withdrawable and expire in 168 hours. For additional terms and responsible gaming resources, see casino draftkings.com slash get 50 ends November 24th 2024 games availability varies by jurisdiction we are back on look at me (laughs) I want to look at Clodomar he is beautiful choreography down Um, the the moment where the girls are all watching and laughing at each other while they're trying to do the thing, I just feel like this isn't a conducive way to learn. Well, yes, but it's good for TV. It, it is, yes. It is not I, good for learning. I feel I mean, well, for these girls. It might be, though, because sometimes you want to try harder when there's a social element and you, there's a comparison element. I think mm. it does make you want to be like, okay, I'm going to really focus. I'm going to really show show these cunts what's up. Mm-hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. Thrust it. Thrust it. Five, six, seven, eight. Off the page, mama. She's all pelvis. <sighs> uh, Work with Kieran- her on her turns. I'm worried about her balance. <laughs> uh, Kieran is very confident. No shock there. And um, Lil is nervous for these mirror chats, but... Kieran says, I'm ready for my fourth badge. Girl. Come on, Drag Race UK 6. Let's get this over with. (laughs) Is that what she said? (laughs) No, that's what Ginger said on All Stars. Okay. Uh, Some of these girls don't even have one badge. And Char and Octavia are are having. And we're going to get into it once we get into the challenge and the placement and the, who wins and who doesn't. I feel like some seasons do a better job of sort of spreading the badges and the wins around. This, this win this week could have gone to a few different people. Yeah. But they gave Very it easily. to someone who already has multiple wins. So I'm like, I'm, I'm old school with drag race. Like I like, I like a season where someone can win the challenge and then literally be in the bottom next week. Like, and it's, you know, there's more ups and downs. Whereas this is like, there are a couple of people who are really emerging as winning a whole bunch of badges. And then there's some girls who haven't won anything, which is. Yeah. who I, I'm interested in hearing who you think could have also won <coughs> later. 
Um, but this chat with Octavia and Chara talking about um, Chiron, it feels like the only reason it gets brought up later is because production wants them to talk about it. Because it doesn't feel natural the way it's brought up in Untucked when she's like, well, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Well, maybe they were trying to be sisterly. Yeah. And uh, yes, maybe production told them to talk about it, but maybe they were trying yeah. to be sisterly and like, we know you're going to watch the show and we were we were joking earlier about it. I mean... But it wasn't joking. It wasn't joking. They meant it. And it was funny. Especially, mi especially Miss Octavia. She was like, I want to see that fall down. There's nothing wrong with that. The girl who's doing really well and who's really overconfident and cocky about it. Like, yeah, you should be like, yeah, I do want to see you fall on your face. But they tried to play it off like, oh, well, we were just, we were just yeah. kind of joking. Wait, 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 wait. We said it really joking. We said LOL JK. I think overconfident would apply if she were like not reaching the heights that she strived for. But so far, Kyron is doing what he, they came to do. She's doing great. Yeah, so I can't wait for her to be in the bottom because it's going to happen. They won it. Maybe. I mean, maybe it won't. I, unless I mean, it's maybe B it Bianchi won't. Del Rio. Sitch. Uh, we get on the runway. RuPaul is in a shimmering chartreuse dress. <laughs> brat Summer. Mm -hmm. Brat Summer continues. RuPaul is brat. Very that. She uh, is brat. What do you think of this dress? Uh, something's weird here. The shoulders are way too, like, it needs to be, like, ruched here and then a tinier strap. Or, like, if she pulled that off the shoulder and just... Yeah, it's a little bulksome. Yeah, especially with that Barbara Bush hair. Honey, like, what she, is girl, this when she packed for the UK... She said, I'm just going to throw these couple of white wigs in here and we're just going to use them over and over. <laughs> and it's a white wig bonanza over there in the UK. Is she always in a white wig? I don't know, but I'm I'm not. Um, it just feels like she threw it on, like that wig, that dress. Where's the jewelry? Where's the accessories? Where's the belt? Where's the... It, I, it's, it's so stupid that I'm nitpicking this, but like... I'm bored by her looks. I don't get excited by her looks anymore, except like once a season, maybe. Sometimes we do. Yeah, like maybe not once this. a season or two. Not this, though. Like, <laughs> not, where's the hair is matronly, which is fine because she is, she matronly. is a matriarch. So she's allowed to be. And maybe she said, I want to be grandmother of the ball tonight. Which is fair, but like the way that it sort of just goes straight back, it takes it to like a period piece almost. Yeah, it gives it like Mrs. Potts, like uh, <laughs> Continental Congress era. Like, I don't love this hair. Don't love the hair. And now I'm trying to see it without it. It's bulksome here, and she has yeah. such beautiful that clavicle shoulder. shoulder this kakaraka. If it was one sided mm. of that, mm -hmm. fears. But you know what? When you're when you're operating at this level of beauty and excellence, RuPaul, we have to just grasp at straws. You know, mm. she's well, always I mean, beautiful. She's always lovely. Yeah, but is that her fault? Or the doctors, technicians, makeup artists, and wigologists. Okay, well, you I mean, know her bones. She, she is beautiful. It. She, she is sells beautiful. it, and she she's does. wearing nails. She's got these purple nails on, which I, now. I loved as a, I loved as a little treat. Michelle Visage is outwigging RuPaul. It's happening. She is taking chances, giving silhouettes, gems, jet silhouettes. Mm -hmm. Champagne in the sky. This is, um, I just, it gives me such 90s teas on Michelle. I love it. And it's Princess Diana night. So she's giving like a short cropped, you know. She looks so beautiful. I love this. Uh, what? 
I, I, you write it as Diana Knight, but like, do you think that was in reference to this? Yes. Because this, this is not a Diana cut. Well, we're going to get to some of these Diana cuts that make their way you onto the what? stage. You know what? This could be a Diana cut when Diana she did cut. the Mario Testino shoot, actually. She did go yeah. shorter and more pixie. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right, but, you know, Lil gets those confused with left. Graham Norton, always a pleasure. And Beverly Knight is there looking gorgeous and ready to... She's painted. She looks great. Painted, a beret, mm -hmm. uh, accessories. Like, I would rather see RuPaul in this outfit. Sure. Than what she's wearing. Because it just... It feels like when you just put on a dress and then whatever hair... And if you don't have a statement earring or something, it just feels like you don't care. And we want you to actually look like you care. We know it's your job. And we know that this is all your hand can do now. It literally went like that. We're happy you're here. We're grateful for every day you're on earth. But would it kill you to want to look like you want to be on your show? Okay. Let's talk about pop of the tops. Okay. Yes. Yes. What do we think? Who were your standouts? I would have loved if Lil's jacket didn't reveal that she was going to do a reveal from the very first moment we saw her. <laughs> you think it did that? Yes, it did, by having that crystal fringe hang out the bottom. Oh. You know what also would have been an easy fix for hiding a reveal? Scooch it up. We have it in Drag the Musical. I have, like, a reveal trench coat, but they've attached, like, a scarf to it that you fold in here so it doesn't give away what's what's here. Like, what's, like, what's showing in between the lapels. Mm, Is it revealed? very Marco Marco. It's very Marco Marco, and it's very easy. Like, she could have taken a scarf, attached it to the jacket, and just tucked it in in the front, and then it comes right off with the jacket. And that makes the reveal more of a reveal rather than I'm just taking a jacket off. Which, yeah. I, I mean, that is what a reveal is oftentimes. But you, there are ways to sort of, you know, sprinkle a little magic dust mm -hmm. on it. Lavoie but, definitely had some magic dust because she sounded great. She was funny. What a way to start. Just hit it God. out of the park. So funny, and what a voice. Girl, I don't th know. this, this was challenge was made for her. Let's just, let's call it what it is. She was on Queen of the Universe. They all know exactly what she can do. She's an amazing singer with a Shirley Bassey-esque thing. And they gave her the Shirley Bassey part, and she opened the show and was sickening. This was made yeah. for her. Marmalade was actually spot on, too. Her Elton John was very energetic. It may not have sounded like him or anything, but like she sold it. And you couldn't tell me she wasn't playing the piano. And this outfit was stupid, like dummy good. Like I loved it. She looked great. And the melodining of the track was well done. Kyron. Also, can we talk about the retouching of the vocals on some of them and not on others? You can yes. tell when a when a vocal has been pitch corrected. It has My a sort life of life has gone full circle because I'm a daddy. A daddy the it's, call in circle. It's yeah. pitch corrected, which is fine. That's that's commonplace. But if you're not gonna do it for everybody, then it's just shady. Okay. Well, yes. She did great. It's clear she has a voice. I think that the writing of the song wasn't like the most hilarious or over the top. And and that's unfortunate. But she looked great and did the best that she could with the Elton John character. Yes. Kyron, also great. Very funny. Hit the marks. Really Sounded funny. Kyron's only played male characters so far. <laughs> Like Dolly so, on Dragula. Why not? Opened. The doors, you know what? There was a time where you would get yelled at for doing a male <laughs> character, but I'm glad the world has changed in some ways. Justice for Milan. Uh, Octavia. Hello. 
Octavia was giving um, very Jerry, Jerry Hallowell look at me energy because she was making sure everybody was looking. I love Every this <laughs> cracky wig. I love this interpretation of Jerry Hall Hallowell. This wig is so shiny and uh, feels so provided. She is but so actually cracky seeing some of her, in this. Seeing some of her other wigs, I would not be surprised <laughs> if this came from home for, with her. Um, but wow, this is... This is get, 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 she get. is unbridled, just like enthusiasm. Did just you like see? she did it. disease at GAY this weekend, and she she was thrashing. She is just I would love to see her in a Tesco, just like <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> Pay card, no bag. <laughs> just like she is. A hundred and thousand ten percent at all times. She is. She is. She yeah. thrashes. Uh -huh. She doesn't dance. She thrashes. And I I mean, I found it entertaining. I know that when they cut to RuPaul going, yeah. then we're being There's telegraphed that this is not a successful performance. But I thought if I was watching this, I would be entertained. And I would be engaged. Yeah, we don't even know if RuPaul doing that was during Octavia's. Sure, it cuts away to that, but like TBH, the way she pees for her and gives her a reach around at the end makes me think that RuPaul probably enjoyed it, even though it was not a Jerry. Unhingeable. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's enjoyment there. Relisa was surprising. Like, I did not think that this was going to be as good as it was. And I'm glad it was because she looked beautiful. Doing Adele in a live singing challenge is basically, I mean, you are set up for failure. But she came in and was like exquisite, the captivating, only... mm -hmm. sounded great, and then hit the comedy beats just as hard. The, the only, only way what? this could have been better is if she took off that updo wig and had Bantu knots underneath. <laughs> that would have been hilarious, and she would have won the challenge right there. T. You know what? I agree. I think that I should be been on great. Drag Race again. Uh, <laughs> she looked so great. The only thing that bothered me isn't her fault, but was this tiny microphone something that bothers me is when it's a fake microphone that is short like mm -hmm. this like microphones aren't this short what also bothered what? me is wearing an asymmetrical gown and then a necklace like that is not the neckline for some pearls she should have put them pearls around her wrist or something she's being adele adele wouldn't do, do you think that. adele would not wear a necklace with that her yeah, stylist would rip the necklace off. You don't wear necklaces like that. <laughs> and then pearls would spatter all over the floor. Mm -hmm. And then, you know. And then I, uh, then Santino would call Latrice a rental couch. Oh. <sighs> Bitch. Whoa. That was not the day. Next Chara. up, <laughs> Chara Tease is wearing a primary color. color. Yeah! We have been waiting for this moment. We have a confetti. Please drop out of the ceiling now. <laughs> From the sky, drop like confetti. My I. Will put you in a trap, <laughs> this was the best writing of the. Great writing. This was the funniest one. The wig and the makeup, though. <laughs> it, it looks like she's trying to do Dracula's bride ghost thing. The wig needs a little root. It should not be a center part. Kylie has like a cutesy thing to her, and this makes her seem like she's um, reincarnated or something. She's doing or, Padam Padam era, Kylie. I which, know. I but mean, this is not far off. The hair is wrong. Okay. The, the hair is wrong. And I get it. You wanted to wear your human hair, Chara, and be that girl, but. Maybe it's provided. I thought I don't know. this was so good. Me too. It was 
It was funny. She sounded great. She did the Australian accent so adeptly. I thought this was a great moment for charities, for sure. I think it's the power of the primaries, too. It really gave it to her. The primary color unlocked something. Yeah, for sure. She is the primary color princess, and I've always said that. Mm -hmm. Now, Lil is the kind of hostess that should have been like, you know what? I I hosted all night. I don't need to do my number. (laughs) Let's cut my number. It feels like... <laughs> you guys, we're running a little over on time. I was going to do a number, but we're just going to move right on to the finale. How y'all doing? You ready for some more? Um, <laughs> this number from Lil feels like an afterthought that they threw in. And it doesn't... She's not as confident. And they show Michelle going. How are they going to make her close the show? How are they going to make British Reba McIntyre close the show? <laughs> Well, where else would she be that it wouldn't be a surprise, surprise? Put her at the beginning. Like, Lavoie should have closed the show. Shirley Bassey is the biggest name on the ticket, and I'm very sorry, but she is. She should have closed the the lineup. And See, I Scylla thought it opened with her and then closed with uh, Padam Padam. Like, it should have gone sequentially, like, in decades. Oh, in you timeline. Know? Sure. Yeah. But I'm, yeah, I'm, this was a, an uphill battle for Lillian today. There were a lot of really great people. Nobody was gutter or even bad. Like yeah. some people were just okay. Not not yeah. and not saying okay as a read. They were good. They were fine. Um, yeah. and the runaway category is Night of a Thousand Princess Dianas. I would like to take a break before we do that. I don't know about you. <laughs> Let's do it. Fuck you, Alyssa. 